This video is an introduction to PixelPerfect, a tool that helps you examine and develop Android UIs. In this video, you will learn how to run PixelPerfect, use it to look at pixels in an existing UI, and use it to lay out a UI. To start working with PixelPerfect, start an emulator and install the application. For security reasons, you can only run PixelPerfect on an emulator. Unlock the emulator screen if necessary, then run your application. You run PixelPerfect from within the Hierarchy Viewer tool. In a shell, start Hierarchy Viewer. This displays the Windows pane, which contains a list of the available activities. Select the activity you want to look at, then click Inspect Screenshot. This begins loading the pixel perfect data. Now you see pixel perfect. There are three panes View Hierarchy, Loop, and Display. The display pane shows the UI as it appears in the emulator. This is called the screenshot. The View Hierarchy pane shows a hierarchical list of the class names of each view in the emulator's current UI. When you click on a name, its position in the UI is outlined in red on the screenshot. Padding for the view is outlined in blue. To look at an individual pixel, go to the Display pane and either click on a pixel or move the crosshair to it. The loop pane shows a close-up of the pixel. You can zoom in or out by using the slider at the bottom of the loop pane, or by using your mouse's scroll wheel. In the loop pane, information about the pixel under the crosshair appears at the bottom. On the left, you see a swatch of the pixel color and under it the HTML style hexadecimal representation of the color. In the center, you see the decimal red, green, and blue color values for the pixel. On the right, you see the pixel position on the screen. The values are relative to zero, with X starting at the left of the screen and Y starting at the top. The Pixel Perfect panes are not updated when you go to a different screen in the emulator. For example, in the Contact Manager application, if you click the Add Contact button, it switches to the Add Contact screen. Notice, though, that in Pixel Perfect, the panes have not been updated. To refresh the display pane, click Refresh Screenshot at the top of the window. To refresh the View Hierarchy pane, click Refresh Tree at the top of the window. You can also have Pixel Perfect refresh the screenshot automatically. To do this, click Auto Refresh at the top of the window, and then set the refresh rate with the slider at the bottom of the loop pane. You can save the screenshot as a bitmap image. Click Save as PNG at the top of the window. You can then open the image in a graphics program such as Photoshop. In Pixel Perfect, you can display an image over the current screenshot. The image is called an overlay. You use overlays to help you create and adjust UIs. Here's an example of an overlay on top of the Add Contact UI. The overlay is in light blue. To use an overlay, start by creating the image you want to use. Here's the overlay for the Add Contact screen as it appears in Photoshop. In the emulator, go to the activity screen that you want to work with. In Pixel Perfect, refresh the screenshot so that it shows the UI you want to work with. 
Finally, click Load Overlay at the top of the window and select the overlay image. This loads the overlay as a layer above the screenshot. If you do not see the overlay, adjust the transparency with the slider. 0% means invisible, while 100% means opaque. To see the overlay in the loop view, click Show in Loop at the top of the window. In the example, the overlay is in light blue. You can see that the position of the Save button in the actual UI is not aligned with the button image in the overlay. You can use the loop view to find out where the button should be located and then correct the UI in your application. This concludes the video. To learn more about Pixel Perfect, refer to the documentation for Hierarchy Viewer in the Android Developer's Guide.